HD Hyundai has reported that the first HDC 3100 Corvette for the Philippine Navy has conducted the keel laying ceremony, and the second HDC 3100 Corvette held its first steel cutting ceremony earlier today, November 22, 2023, at its Ulsan shipyard. These are important milestones, as the Corvettes are scheduled for delivery to the Philippine Navy by 2025. Based on the information released by HD Hyundai, the Corvettes are now displacing 3,200 tons, 118.4 meters long and 14.9 meters wide, with a cruising speed of 15 knots and a range of 4,500 nautical miles. This is slightly larger than the original HDC 3100 design, which is 3,100 tons, 116 meters long, and 14.9 meters wide. Cruising speed and range remain the same as before. The two vessels will be equipped with anti-ship missiles and advanced weapon systems such as a vertical launching system and an AESA radar system. The two surface combatants are scheduled to be launched in 2024 and delivered to the Philippine Navy by 2025. The keel laying ceremony is one of the main events of the shipbuilding process, in which contracting parties gather to wish for successful construction and safety while placing the first block used for the ship in the dry dock. The keel laying ceremony means that the shipbuilding process is on track. The 3,200-ton class corvettes to be built by HD Hyundai Heavy Industries for the Philippine Navy are state-of-the-art naval vessels with a length of 118.4 meters, a width of 14.9 meters, a cruising speed of 15 knots, about 28 kilometers per hour, and a range of 4,500 nautical miles, 8,330 kilometers. The Philippine Department of National Defense awarded HD Hyundai Heavy Industries with a total of 10 naval vessels, including two frigates in 2016, two corvettes in 2021, and six offshore patrol vessels in 2022, through its Horizon 1 and 2 armed forces of the Philippines modernization programs. Furthermore, HD Hyundai Heavy Industries was awarded the Lifetime Support Service contract for the maintenance, repair, and overhaul MRO, of BRP Jose Rizal class frigates delivered to the Philippine Navy through 2020 and 2021. Flag officer in command of the Philippine Navy, Vice Admiral Toribio Dulanayan Adachi Jr., attended the keel laying ceremony to inspect the shipbuilding progress of the corvettes and discuss cooperation measures to modernize the Philippine Navy. He also attended the steel cutting ceremony for the second vessel, which was held prior to the keel laying ceremony, showing the Philippine Navy's strong expectations and determination for the successful completion of the Corvette acquisition program. I was able to witness HD Hyundai's state-of-the-art modern facilities building high-quality naval vessels. HD Hyundai has been instrumental in building naval platforms for the Philippines Navy, including the already delivered BRP Jose Rizal class frigates, two corvettes, and six offshore patrol vessels to be delivered in the near future. They are always ahead of schedule, with good quality, and on several occasions exceeded our expectations. In the warranty repairs and maintenance of the FF-150, they provided us with more than what was agreed upon. Beyond the production of the hardware, we look forward to developing stronger partnerships through services such as training, the transfer of technology, the upgrade of equipment in other naval assets and systems, etc. Based on the vast amount of experience accumulated through the delivery of ROC naval ships, HD Hyundai can provide benefits for the Philippine Navy as well. Dr. Won Ho Ju, Chief Operating Officer of HD Hyundai Heavy Industries Naval and Special Ship Business Unit, said, 
we are confident that the naval vessels built by HD Hyundai Heavy Industries will be successfully delivered on time to bolster the naval patrols in the vast Philippine waters. Meanwhile, HD Hyundai Heavy Industries is a pioneer of the Korean naval shipbuilding industry, starting with the development of South Korea's first indigenous Ulsan-class frigate in 1975. The company has so far developed five Aegis destroyers, three KDX-2 destroyers, 12 frigates, six corvettes, nine submarines, and 31 patrol and rescue vessels. A total of 102 vessels have been built and delivered to navies and coast guards worldwide.